Hello students, you have learned how to sort and handle data using tally marks and block graphs. Now you're going to learn another way to sort and handle data which is known as the Carroll diagram. A Carroll diagram is represented somewhat like this. It is used to sort data into groups. Let's try with an example. So here I have certain shapes with me, two shapes of two different colors which is what I have represented on my table, the Carroll diagram. On the left hand side, I have written the two colors that I have. I have pink and green and the two shapes that I have, which are circle and rectangle. All we need to do is sort the data according to the columns. The first column says pink and circle. Let's find out pink circles from here. I have the first circle which I'm going to place here and the second one here. Next we need pink rectangles. I can see two here which I'm going to lay them out like this. Next column asks for green circle which let us find do we have any more? No. And the last column says green rectangle. What I am left with. So I have four green rectangles which I am laying out like this. Our data is sorted using a Carroll diagram. This was quite easy as there were only two shapes and two different colors. Here's another example, a little bit harder this time. Instead of two shapes and two colors, we have three shapes of four different colors. So we have a triangle rectangle and circle and the four colors as you can see are blue, orange, green and pink. This Carroll diagram will not have three or four rows and three or four columns. Here you are going to choose one color and one shape. Over here I have chosen pink and circle. The others, other headings will be written as if the first one the color is pink, the other heading will be not pink. If the shape I have chosen is circle, the other heading will be not circle. Let's try and sort out our data. So I need to find pink circles. So I, I can see one and the other one is here which I am going to place here. Let's see what does the next one say. Pink and not circle. So all the shapes that are pink in color but are not circles. So I have a rectangle and I have a triangle. So they are pink in color, but they are not circles. The next topic, next heading says not pink and circle. So we need to put all the circles which are not pink in color. So I have this and then I don't have any more. The next says not pink and not circle. So the shapes that are neither pink nor circles will be put up here. So I have a one rectangle. Next, I have a triangle here, rectangle, rectangle and a, another triangle. So our data, which was a little difficult, has been sorted using this Carroll diagram.